Let's now talk about the triple response and this is something that is often asked in SAQs repeatedly. So first of all, let us define what is triple response in the first place. It is a response and it is a response of the skin to mechanical stimulation. All right. It is a response of the skin to mechanical stimulation, right? Um, so let's define the mechanical stimulation. Basically, firm stroking. by a pointed object obviously it doesn't it shouldn't be too sharp but it should be pointed that is the sort of sort of mechanical stimulation likely to garner the triple response right um, if the skin is mechanically stimulated in another manner for example by light stroking by a blunt object the skin will respond but in a different manner and the response when the, when the skin is lightly stroked with a blunt object is known as the white response and not the triple response so first of all when it, when someone asks you what is a triple response you begin with the triple response is you can use the word reaction the triple response is a reaction of the skin to mechanical stimulation via firm stroking by a relatively pointed object. Now this is the complete thing. If you just write this, you're missing out. You need to mention this as well. Right, so why is it known as the triple response of all things? Well, because this response, this reaction has, it basically has three parts to it. The first is the red line. So when you take um, a relatively sharp object and you firmly stroke a particular part of the skin surface with it, because of that stroking, a red line will appear and when it, when will it appear about 15 seconds after that particular area of the skin has been firmly stroked with such sharp object so it takes 15 seconds to appear so it doesn't appear instantaneously and why do we have the appearance of this red line over the area that has been stimulated. Obviously, you're stimulating in a line. You're not stimulating it like this. That would be different. You're using a sharp object, maybe, um, I don't know what, whatever. And you, you, and you're using it to firmly stroke a person's hand from this point till this point. And 15 seconds after, you have firmly stroked in that particular line. A red line will appear over the area that has been stroked now this is important and it will take 15 seconds it won't appear instantaneously and in that 15 seconds what are the changes that have been induced by the firm stroking that have led to the appearance of this red line right so what are the changes dilation of pre-capillary sphincters so greater amount of blood flow in that localized area and one important thing is the dilation happens at the level of the pre-capillary sphincters and not at the level of the arterioles and this is an important distinction for these responses right so because you stroke a line firmly 
from this point to this point using a sharp object 15 seconds after your action a red line appears and what has happened within these 15 seconds dilation of the relevant precapillary sphincters so there is more blood and so you can see the red line so how has the stroking led to this dilation um, it's because because you're using a sharp object you do cause a bit of injury a bit of trauma over that particular area of the skin and certain substances are produced kinins for example and these certain substances that are produced in the local area of the stimulation have a localized effect on the area that they are produced in because of the injury incurred at that area leading to vasodilation and the precapillary sphincters right so this is in stark contrast to the white response in which there was constriction and not dilation and the constriction was a myogenic response as opposed to a response mediated by local mediators anyways so this is the appearance of the red line so this red line becomes maximum in one by two of a minute to full minute and then it disappears eventually however during this time period it does lose its dark red tinge and and it becomes sort of bluish and the reason for that is because it becomes cyano cyanotic because that O2 is being taken in that blood is being taken by the surrounding tissues so there is more deoxy HP now compared to before anyways this eventually disappears now if prior to this uh, you were trying to get a triple response from a person whose circulation has been stopped by whatever means of blood is not flowing properly the heart is not pumping and the proper circulation is not present or if a person his um, his nerve fibers they're basically being degenerated by whatever means basically the, the nervous response is absent then you won't get this red line so even though it is because of this the circulation needs to be present circulation of blood needs to be happening as normal and innovation needs to be present if that area is denervated de you will not get the red line this is not for the whole of the triple response just for the first component of it the one that appears first now if we talk about the other one that is known as the flare Now the flare tends to appear when you have repeatedly stimulated a particular line over the skin with greater amounts of force. I'll repeat, the flare only appears when you repeatedly stimulate the same line across the skin with increasingly greater amount of force. And what is a flare? You need to be able to define it. It is an irregular zone of redness around the red line irregular meaning it isn't of a particular shape or a particular extent each time it's an irregular zone of redness and this appears around the red line and this appears after the red line a few seconds after and it disappears before the disappearance of the red line um, my apologies i made a mistake over here even in the absence of innovation you do get the red line so it isn't necessary my apologies anyways it is an irregular zone of redness that appears after the red line and disappears before the disappearance of the red line and doesn't necessarily appear now if uh, the part of the area is denervated it will not happen or if the circulation is cut off the flare will not appear even though the red line might have appeared 
so innovation is important to it and if there is local anesthesia meaning the innovation is uh, temporarily paralyzed you still won't get a flare all right so these are the important bits about flare after red line disappears before the red line is an irregular zone of redness um and it's and the amount of flare is dependent on just how strong your initial stimulus was and the particular arteriolar network around the area that was stimulated now the third response is known as a wheel uh, over here why is um, innovation important it is believed because the fl- the flare is a result of antidromic response of the sensory nerve endings in the area antidromic is when it's against the normal direction of nervous impulses so apparently certain neurotransmitters known as substance p is produced via antidromic stimulation of nerve endings which kind of causes this response so that is why it is very much dependent on innervation so even if the dorsal root nerves are sort of like cut off if the sensory nerve endings are not degenerated this response will still take place because you don't need the complete pathway for this to happen then you have what is known as the wheel the wheel is basically a localized area of swelling or a localized area of edema importance is that you have to write it as being localized so it gradually increases eventually it obscures the red line in about 3 to 5 minutes it is maximum then it disappears and it the reason for that is an increased capillary permeability right and to prove that if you sort of like inject someone with a colo- col- diet colloidal substance you can see that in the area of swelling so that is suggestive that the capillary permeability has indeed increased i'm hoping this is helpful if it was please like subscribe and leave a comment